In this video, I will explain how to use ridge spacing to check or estimate image resolution. Occasionally, a fingerprint or palm print image resolution is unknown. For example, you may have a photo without a scale or simply an image without DPI information in the file. This will be obvious because resolution will be shown as unknown below the image. For example, here I've opened an image with an unknown resolution and you can see here it says res unknown. Occasionally, the DPI information in a file will be incorrect. This is less obvious. Some clues that resolution is incorrect. If you have two images open and you use lock zoom, the scales still look different. If you run auto minutia detection in the matcher or case APHIS and you get no minutia detected, that's also an indication that there's a problem. So in this example, I've opened up two images. They both claim to be 500 DPI. So when I click lock zoom, they obviously are not because with lock zoom the two images should appear at the same scale. Another indication that this image on the left is incorrect is the fact that it's showing up as 500 dpi but the image is very wide in pixels. It's over 2000 pixels wide but it's just a single fingerprint. This should be closer to 500 pixels or so. A third indicator would be that if I run Matcher and use Auto Detect, even though this is a beautiful print, I get no minutia detected. So those are three clues that this is not actually a 500 dpi image. So if there is a ruler in an image, use this to determine the resolution. Um, be careful if the, you see a digital ruler that's been placed on the image. I've recently seen an example where a digital ruler was placed on the image but its scale was completely incorrect. If there is no ruler in the image, you can use the spacing of the ridges to estimate the image resolution. To do this, we need to know what is the average distance between ridges. I have two references for this measurement. The first one is from a book by David Ashbaugh and he says that the average ridge breadth is 0.48 millimeters in young adult males while uh, females are slightly narrower. I'm not sure how many samples this is based on. Um, this paper by Raymond T. Moore from the Journal of Forensic Identification in 1989 came up with a mean ridge to ridge distance for males of 0.46 millimeters and for females 0.41 millimeters. This data was based on um, measuring fingerprints of 10 males and 10 females. If there are other estimates out there from different references, I'd be happy to learn about those from you guys. You could write them in the comments. For this video, I'll assume the average ridge to ridge distance is 0.47 millimeters. So if image resolution is missing and there's no ruler in the image, you can use this process to get an estimate of the image resolution. Click calibrate on the menu bar, use manual calibration, Draw a line across 10 ridges. Try to be perpendicular to the ridge flow. Draw a line across the 10 ridges and type in the resolution as 4.7 millimeters. Type in the distance of 4.7 millimeters here and click OK. The estimated resolution will appear below the image. If you want to check your estimate, you can measure across 10 ridges in a bunch of different locations and the distance should fall between 0.38 and 0.56 centimeters and I'll show where these two limits come from on the next slide but first I'll give a quick demo of how to do this so here's an image where the DPI is unknown and there's no ruler so what I'll do is find a place on the image where I can draw a line perpendicular to 10 ridges go to calibrate manual calibration. Usually you use a ruler for manual calibration but in this case you can use the ridges. So now I need to draw a line that's 10 ridges. Okay so here I type in 4.7 and click OK. This is the resolution estimate based on that and it says 517 pixels per inch. 
Now I know that this image is actually 500 pixels per inch, so this estimate is not perfect, but it's close. Now to double check that I've done this right, if I didn't know it was actually 500, I can use the measure tool and just go to another place where I can measure across 10 ridges and see if it's around 4.7 millimeters. So yes, that's close. So now if you suspect an image resolution is wrong, you can use the measure tool to measure a distance across 10 ridges. This distance should be approximately 0.47 centimeters. Now of course it's not going to be perfect, but what's a reasonable range? So I've taken uh, plus minus 20 percent of this 0.47, which goes from 0.38 centimeters to 0.56 centimeters, and according to the Moore paper, this range should include about 96 percent of adult males. So if you measure this distance across 10 ridges and the distance is between 0.38 and 0.56, your resolution is probably okay. If you measure the distance across 10 ridges and the distance is not between 0.38 and 0.56, this is the equation that you can use to adjust the DPI based on the measurements that you're coming up with. So the estimated resolution, that's your new resolution, will be equal to the measured distance that you find with your measure tool divided by 0.47 centimeters, so this measured distance must be in centimeters, and you multiply it by the displayed resolution. The displayed resolution is a resolution that is displayed below the image. So tip one for using this equation is to measure the distance at a number of locations and use the average to reduce your error. Tip two is that you can use a straight line annotation to take these measurements if you want to record where you made the measurements for documentation. So here's an example where I use the uh, straight line tool to measure the distance at four different locations. This is the average of those four measurements, 0.217. So the estimated resolution will be this average divided by 0.47 times the displayed resolution. In this image, the displayed resolution was 1000 dpi, so 0.217 divided by 0.47 times 1000 dpi equals 461. Once again, the number you come up with is not perfect, it's only an estimate, because I know this image was actually 500 dpi, so 461 is an estimate. I'll show you how to do this. You could just use the measure tool, to do this, like I showed you earlier, but if you want to document all the spots, go to Annotate, use Straight Line, and draw your lines. Okay, I'm going to change the color of these so I can So I'll just base this on two numbers for now. And just double check that I did 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's 10. Okay, so the average of these two numbers, 2.053 plus 2.449 divided by 2, is 2.251 the displayed resolution is 500. So let's go back to the equation. So the new estimate will be 2.251 centimeters divided by 0 0.47 centimeters times 500. So the new estimate would be 2,394 pixels per inch. So what do you do when you have this new estimate? You need to reset it on your image. So you click Calibrate on the menu bar, click the Type in Resolution button, then enter the DPI value that you estimated here in the pixels per inch box. So now if I want to update the DPI, go to Calibrate, type in resolution, 
pixels per inch that I came up with was 2394.7. And it warns you that this is not to be used lightly because you don't ever want to just type in a resolution if you don't know what it is. So that's the resolution. And you can see these new measurements have been updated and now they're within the range that you would expect. Now I could run auto detect for the minutia, but I need to resample to 500 dpi first, etcher, and run auto detect. So now it finds the minutia like you would expect. So it's definitely closer to where it should be. So that is how to deal with resolution issues if you've got a fingerprint or palm print image. It'd be great to get some feedback from you guys on this video. Um, I know I've covered this once before, but I couldn't find that video the other day to send somebody. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.